All right, so we got Barkers MHJ, Ratados, and uh, I believe LD is going to come down here and commentate um, any minute. I just got off playing with him, had a good match. So this this should be interesting. I feel like it's one of Park Sanchez's stronger matchups. Um, MHJ, ugh. I don't know. Would you do you think this is one of MHJ's better matchups? He could do. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. I think I know he's beaten me at it before. Um, he's definitely he's definitely no slouch at it. But Park is very good. At beating him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he'll like lose games to random people, like MHJ, and he lost a game to Finio, and I think he's lost a game to KD3. Like, he'll drop games. Um, Finio's just, getting pretty good. He yeah. doesn't. He usually doesn't drop like the whole set. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would definitely not expect Bark to, to lose to Finio, but Finio's getting pretty good. Yeah, I know you guys made fun of him for a while. Oh yeah, but he's do. yeah, he's getting there. He's getting. There. He's, 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 very robot, he's very robotic. So I think um, I think MHJ's main chance here is is in the combos. I know he goes for a lot of combos. And Bark's combo game, um, in my opinion, is a little below uh, the rest of his, yeah. his level. I think it's it's not bad, but for the level of Pikachu that he is, it's a little it's a little weak. It's a, it's a, it's a it's like a bottleneck. So, so if MHJ, you know, if he can get those combo setups, that's that's gonna be his main way to, to try and equalize. So far, it's really not been the case. <laughs> but we might be able to get there. Oh, we should we should get LD on commentary. LD. Yeah, yeah. Get in here. Alright, L LD is gonna join me. Ugh. I got these I got these fancy new headsets now, I gotta use them. And while that exchange is happening, MHJ brought it closer. You know what's weird? No. All right. Well, every time I end up commentating, it's always like Pikachu Dittos or Pika <laughs> Kirby. So there's that. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like back to where I was before. Uh, did, did Bark think he was on the stage? That was weird. So uh, basically, I'm not gonna have anything like important to add here because everything I've ever said of like vital importance has been stated <laughs> before. <laughs> like, see, look at this. This is gonna be a back air. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, oh switcheroo. This is close, actually. It looks like uh, MHG was down by two stocks, right? Yeah, he was. And it's completely it reasonable to say he can come back right now. Yeah. But Especially if Park SD is oh, Couldn't get a chain grab there, no. I'm do four throw. Woo. Oh, it's oh, downfield no. double. Yeah, it ended up being close thanks to an SD and a bad edge guard. All right, well, for MHJ's sake, maybe we'll have more bad edge guards and more uh, more gimmicky it's stuff. It's always possible. Two, one, yeah, start of the game's always interesting, you know. You want to get that flow, you want to start. Oh, he got off. Bark's got the 53% going for him right now. MHJ really needs to do a forward throw and chain grab off of that. He's trying to I, I don't like know that. the percents where, like, uh, where you can do that. Just 0%. Besides 0. Yeah. No, but I mean 0% Pika on Pika, just forward throw and then grab him when he, uh, when he techs. All right, that was interesting. <laughs> See, the last time that happened, uh, Bark went for a legend SD because the MHJ was there. Oh. Facing the wrong lane. So yeah, I, f I forgot that since it's a holiday, you know, because I'm like, oh, it's a holiday, but people still have to work tomorrow, you know. So it's not like people can stay up late. But you work so late. So this yeah, this out. day this day is really about not just Smash, but about remembering fallen, uh, you know, vets and also fallen foxes because we see that happening. And dude, Fox went to war. He went to war, and some of them died early at a ripe age of, ripe young age of zero, and 
if that makes sense. I, I don't know. I mean, you can be zero years old, I guess. You can be like a baby <laughs> fox, come out, get on the battle. Well, I mean, it depends. Like, I, I mean, are we talking Earth years for them? Because why? I mean, <laughs> like, what? They go to all these different planets. What even is the that's, year? Uh, that's actually a very good point. I didn't think about that. Dreamland, is it located? It's not. It can't be earthly, right? It's like I don't know. It, it, maybe it's in, like, that other plane. Like, in like in the new Dragon Ball, they have to go to that, that other dimension for their tournament where time doesn't exist. Uh, for the sake of being consistent, let's just say it's Earth years. <laughs> Normal human Earth years. <laughs> Nothing funny going on here. There aren't even humans in the, fo in the Star Fox world. We discovered the possibility today that the... Um, percent damage may not be a percent. In fact, it can't be, because above, above 100 doesn't mean death, necessarily. Uh, two. But what it actually implies is age. So, <laughs> if you hit... As you get hit, you age? Absolutely. If you hit 100%, you're 100 years old, and you, you lived a nice, long life. Oh, man. So, you know, it really puts things into perspective. If you get gimped, like, maybe 15, 20%, then you didn't oh, live you very just, long. You just, you just killed a child. Exactly, and you kind of have to... That, you know, and that gets to some players, and when they gimp somebody, you know, it kind of gets in their head. The guy who got gimped comes back, of course, because in this game he had more than one life. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. That's, that second game was quick. That was very quick. So the set is over.